Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiend Folio. We're jumping in again and people have been asking for it. They've been saying, Turtle, where the fuck's the deleted streak? You promised us. You promised us, you bitch. So today, we're going to restart the deleted streak because people want it so, so bad. And there's going to be a lot of crashing. There's going to be a lot of game breaking. There's going to be a lot of bugs, but we're going to fight our way through. We're going to fight our way through and we're going to play as the, the default one, which is, I can't remember right now. Um, da, 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 da. Happy 99 is the normal one. Cool. Okay. We're playing as this fella. Let's do it. Let's do it. What the flippity hell is this? What the heck's that thing? It's a void of gluttony as an enemy. Uh, we got fire mind here. Um... I think I'm just going to take Fire Mind because I think it could be hilarious. For seven seconds, if you lack red health, you'll regenerate it while also gaining, um, while also gaining 0 0.02 speed. Why didn't that say while also losing? That, uh, yeah, that, that's a weird wording. The, uh, we don't really care about that. Cool. <laughs> we got a speed down anyways. Huzzah, huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay, yeah. This is the deleted. This is the deleted. He is balked. We get to bit flip items, which will essentially corrupt them and turn them into glitched items. But we can see what the glitched items do. So it's not like playing um, TM Trainer sort of thing. It's a bit it's a bit more sophisticated than that. But it can lead to some significant, and I mean significant, game breaks. So there's a very high chance that we crash the game at some point. That is pretty much just a given at this point. Not a given, a given. So, we will, uh, by the way, can we just talk about my epic bomb skills? I'm slightly annoyed that that key landed on the spikes, but I managed to get all of that with uh, one bomb. Um, yeah, there's going to be some fuckery. There's going to be some fuckery. And as for the question of the day today, just because this guy's going to break things, what's the most broken thing you've seen? Whether it be software, whether it be hardware, whether it be life, what's the most broken thing you've seen? Because that'd be an interesting question to ask. We have some hearts over there. We also got a lot of money. Um, for me, I think it was probably like... I can't remember when it was now. I, is this a... Okay, that, that's a good heart. We want that. Although, it's... The UI for it is overlaid slightly incorrectly. Also, I heard that I can go and do something in one of these. One second. I think it's in here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me find it. Let me find it. Where are we? Du, 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 du. So first of all, Immoral Hearts, use Sprite. I don't know what mod I'm using. Shit. <laughs> Let me go and find out what mod I'm actually using. Because I can't remember the name of it. Bollocks. Bollocks. Right, um... Du, 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 du. I apologize for this slow start. But you're probably used to it by now anyways. It's just called UI Hearts. Shit. I don't think we have, an, have the option for that. Um. Moral Hearts. Wait, who's it by? <laughs> UI Hearts. Okay, it is that one. It is that one. Okay, so we, we go here, and we go back down. Ba -da 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 -da. Moral hearts. Use this one. Okay, that's the, that's the right one. Uh, and then we also want to go over to patched hearts, and use sprite UI hearts. Thank you very much for letting me know that, that was a possibility. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Now they actually fit in correctly. Those two hearts don't get like, don't have compatibility. I've got a compatibility mod with Repentance Plus, but it didn't have compatibility with, um, with the heart that I just got and the, uh, patched hearts. But the developer of the patched hearts let me know that they have compatibility in their mod. So I thought I'd check and see if, um, check to see if the uh, Eternal Hearts, whatever the hell they're called again, I can't remember now, uh, had compatibility too. And it does, which is very nice to see. Very nice to see indeed, sir. So that set me up in a good mood. At the minute... I just want to say, set me up in a good mood. At the minute, I'm in kind of a bad mood. <laughs> oh, we got a big pot. 
We got a big pot, but we've only got one bomb. Okay, we need to utilize these guys to, uh, to crack these bad boys open. Right, get a little closer, boys. Get a little closer. I want to use fire mine to, like, boom boom you. Ow. Just, just, just... Get them over here. Spiders, stop spawning. I need to use the explosions from fire mine to break this pot open. We get an item if we break it all the way open. I want an item. Spiders, fuck's sake! <laughs> I don't want you spawning, you shysters. Stop it. <laughs> There's too many of you. <laughs> right, let's hope we can buy a bomb from in here. I think we need two more bombs, though. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Ooh, baby, I love you way. There's some really good stuff in here. Um, I think we'll just go with more options. I really like the um, dice thing. I'm slightly annoyed that we're not going to be able to um, crack that pot open, to be honest. That, that upsets me greatly, because we could get an item out of that. Now, if you'd like to generously offer your services of dropping a bomb at my feet, that would be most, most lovely. But you didn't. How dare you? Right, um... The boss will drop match stick. It will do it with 100% certainty. Guaranteed. 100%. Let's all believe. Let's all pray and hope. But I was going to say I'm in a bit of a bad mood because I've been playing the new Call of Duty. Um, and I've been loving it. I've got every gun gold already. I am a sad fuck. I've got... The game came out like... What? Like a week ago? It came out on the... When did it come out? I don't actually know. Um, it came out like the start of November. It's been like two weeks and I got all the guns gold already. I've got like five days played in the game. I've been fucking snow lifing the hell out of it. It's been sad as all hell. Um, but I'm, I'm up to the point now to get all the platinum camos, which is like the mastery camos. And you have to get long shots. And they're bullshit. Do you know what? The box is actually potentially pretty good. It does give us a bomb, unless it's a troll bomb. You little fucker. You little fucker. How dare you. How dare you. How dare you. Bombs are key. Yes. Yes! This has been a roller coaster of emotions. This has been an absolute fucking roller coaster of emotions. I get the one item other than matchstick that can give me a bomb. I get a troll bomb. I, I get a pill, and the pill I fucking predict is bombs are key. Oh. My life has flashed before my eyes. And we get sissy. All that work gives us sissy. Um, which we could also get every five minutes, get that, um, on burn. Eh, we'll take that. It's, um, Geosaka. <laughs> okay, that was, um, that was quite something. That, that floor, like I said, was really a true roller coaster of emotions. One second. Right, let's carry on. I'm going to go bomb my, uh, my keeper. But yeah, this has been an absolute roller coaster of emotions. My god, let's get, get this and hope it gives us enough money to buy. It gave us a golden key, which isn't actually that useful right now, but thank you. Oh, maybe we get an adjustment um, out of this. Invoke the... Do you know what? I'll do that. This is a good room to do that on. Do you know what? That would have actually potentially have saved us the bomb anyways, because we could have got a fire mind proc. On, um, on the pot using this uh, D7. But yeah, this has really been... It would have been funny if it respawned the pot. This has really been a true roller coaster for immersions. I've been through every single immersion available to the humankind. And out of that, we get a speed down pill. Hell yes. Winning. Speed down is winning. Right, uh, secret room. Secret room. Where are you? I think it's down from here, maybe? Yeah. And it's a battery. 
Beautiful. Right. Let's get the hell gone. This has been, like I said, an absolute roller coaster of a floor. My goodness. It, it has been truly something to behold. But now we move on. We move on. Oh, goddamn. That that was, yeah, that was something. That was something else. I'm hoping I can keep my, uh, my heart alive. My, um... What the hell are they called again? I'm gonna have to go check on the menu. It's a, a, Eternal Hearts? Immortal Hearts, that's the one. Immortal Hearts are really strong, so if we can keep it alive. It's basically like a, a Holy Mantle Heart. The fires are really helping out right now from Fire Mind. Fire Mind doesn't get enough credit in my opinion. I really think it's a very good item. People discredit it because of the, the obviously, the obvious downside. One-up is definitely a one that we can flip. On Rotten Heart, summon two two tall ladder. What the hell is tall ladder? Um, every 60 seconds, get a temporary whatever the hell that is. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. We just spawned two hush flies, but we can deal with those. Okay, yeah, every 60 seconds, we're going to get a temp whatever the hell that thing was. I, I don't know what it is. It seems like Polyphemus, but with more eyes in the pupil, which is a strange concept to me. We also got some other stuff in there as well. Do you got to remember that there is still that bug where if we pick up an active and then we drop it, we keep the downside. The downside does not go away, so we have to be kind of cautious to not pick up actives that we don't want that have downsides. Because that could cause some fuckery. Oh god, I did not see that coming. Oh, hello. Okay, we got this item now. Oh, this is cool. It fires out like a proptosis shot that's surrounded by smaller shots. It's kind of like a shotgun setup. And I'm guessing we get that for one room. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, we get that for one room. This could be a room where we lose our uh, heart, but let's let's not. Let's just not instead. The fact that coming down works with Fiend Folio enemies is the best. This thing ain't dying, my god. Really ain't dying. Holy, are you are you alright, sir? Holy damn. Uh, I want to go to my shop because we do have quite a lot of money. Probably gonna be a bit a little bit of a slower run. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm in like I'm in like a I, I got put in a bad mood, but I think recording has reinvigorated my soul and put me in a bit of a better mood, because I'm 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 happy now. I'm happy. And honestly, I'm really happy to be playing the deleted. The deleted streak went away for a while. I let it go away for too long because of revelations. But it has now returned to us in all of its glory. Oh, hello. A little cheeky crawl space, you say. And from that crawl space, we can menstruate. it. Um, we lose a heart container. We gain... Oh, we gain speed for that. Hell yeah. Oh, we lose all of our heart containers. I think we had two. Or did we only have one? Maybe we only had one? I don't know. That's kind of a cool idea how, like... It can enter you through three different bits, but I needed that speed pretty badly, so I don't really care about losing my heart containers there. Tis what it is. Whoa! What the hell? We got this little charger boy fella. Where did he come from? Um, I think Stalky is pretty good for us here, considering we don't have a ton of keys, but we're, we're, we've turned into this guy. Oh, Lord. Don't make me lose it. It's the only thing giving me hope. I really hate the fact that Bob can fire so much creep and, like, just never stop. That's a really, really cool item we got going on there. Uh, judgment. I will come back to you depending on how poor quality the shop is. If it's really bad, I will play into you. Do not like the prospect of this at all. Let the fire kill that guy. It didn't kill him. Good, good. Hey, it got the soul heart. Beautiful. Honestly, sad that this is a temporary. This is stressful as shit. Just hit him. My goodness. 
<laughs> that was stressing me out so much. Right. Where the hell's the shop at? Yeah, it's sad that that's only a temporary item because I really like it. I don't know what mod it's from, but yeah, I like it a lot. Um, and here we got Pill Crusher. Gives a random pill when picked up, increases pill drop rate while held, consumes currently held pill and applies uh, an effect to the entire room depending on the pill. Hmm. Seems kind of interesting. Got a bombsar key. Okay, let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. I'll go and bomb our beggar boy. Beggar boy. Big boy, you get bombed because you're a big boy. Thank you for the chest. Don't know where you were keeping that. Seems uh, the proportions were a little incorrect there, but I'm not going to judge. Uh, secret room could potentially be here. That it is. Our nickel, thank you. And we'll be on our way. And I, I'm not going to use the bombs our key on the boss. Because I have a feeling it will mimic the effect of like the um, Ace of Ace of Spades or whatever. Where it turns all the enemies into keys. Maybe that would be a bit strong. But that's kind of what I'd expect it to do. Or something similar. Ooh, great boss for fire mines. This is definitely one that we can uh, bit flip. After five hits, get damage on Soul Hearts Bomb for batteries. Every four rooms, use whatever that is. Remember. Yeah, let's go for it. Right. Let's head on down to the next floor. So far, enjoying this a lot. Enjoying this a lot. Uh, we get quite a lot of money on spawning the next floor, which is always nice. And then, yeah, let's pill crush. Okay. Unsure what that did. Very unsure what that did. It did crush the pill, but I didn't notice any effect on the enemies. It didn't turn them into keys or anything like that. Oh, the charger applies bleeding too. I like the rotten tomato effect. I think it was the rotten tomato effect actually. Oh, what? Uh, uh, mm. Um. Ooh, why did all of my hearts turn into... Hmm. I don't know why all my hearts just turned into uh, the little follower dudes there, but that scares me. Also, this room scares me. Fuck me. Ah, you big old bastard. You shit little drip drops. Don't take away my heart. Do not do it. Game doesn't think I'm going to push this chest all the way to the other one, but psych, I am. Okay, so we got a pill effect there. It sped up the music. Is this just, is this just an I'm excited? What the hell? Or maybe it speeds us up, but not the enemies. I don't know. Feels like the enemies are sped up a little bit. I'll be honest. Yeah. We're, we're going pretty well. Speedy music time. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what to, don't know what to think about Pill Crusher. It's not serving me too well right now. Chance to take a random pill and pick up a coin scales with luck. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I don't know what this effect is, but it is going to get me killed. The good thing is, I get a battery whenever I pick those up. So if I can get an active that works alongside this, that could be very lucrative. But, at the moment, this is not good. I am... Um, I seem to be having some sort of issue where my hearts just fall out of me. And I have no idea what item I took that does that. Or charger buddy. Need to find our item room and definitely our shop. There's our shop. Good. 
Ow. Good on you, I guess. Right. You're not going to be an issue. The bubble... Bubble enemies. There's another pill. That is one full heart container. Container every 30 minutes. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Apparently now we can only have soul hearts. Hmm. I don't know when that happened, but that's a thing now. Right, item room or uh, item room? Where do you reside? Also, secret room or uh, secret room? Why are you here? All my hearts fell out again. But this time it's not a combat room. How does this work? Um... Should I be concerned? I think I should be concerned, right? I mean, it's strong, but it's scary. Ooh, also some of the hearts can turn into other types of hearts, which is very strong. Don't spawn more shampoos than we need here. Ooh, Isaac's heart, hell yeah. I'm sorry, but that, that is not... Both of these are not great right now. Each boss kill, use clicker twice. Ooh. Um, on one kill, use pinking shear. Oh. Oh, yes. That is incredible. <laughs> on one kill, whenever we kill an enemy, we gain pinking shears. That's fantastic. Whether we gain it as an item or whether we use it, it's very good. I think we'll use it rather than gain it as an item. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that result. Right, let's keep going. Let's do the boss. Get in there with the bombs. That'll sort your rat right out, love. Oh, it, yep, that's exactly how it works. Gain extra multiplier every other room. Again, another item that I don't really get why that would be in the boss pool, but it's it's only like pentagram being the boss pool, I guess. Still, I like it. I am not complaining about the quality. We've also got the C-section body now for some reason. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nutty. Um, yeah, we can take that now. Every kill we get, every enemy we kill, I'll be chopping my head off for you. That... I tried to make the lyrics work there. Didn't really work. Right, I'm really hoping we get a, an active some point. Okay, we've buggered it again. We've turned in... Ah! <laughs> oh my god, we have so many followers. Also, I lost... Quite a few soul hearts there. Death certificate. Damn you. It's a lot of money though. We got this eye thing again. Lovely pinking she is. Go, Pinking Shears, get in there. <laughs> this is beautiful. Right, we got Tiny Planet. Oh, what's this? Car carapace? While the carapace is active, plus one damage um, blocks the first damage taken, a room reactivates the next incomplete room. That sounds pretty good to me. Also, my buddies fell out again. I think Fire Mind is going to be the thing that kills me. I'll get a room where this happens and Fire Mind's going to kill me. That's my prediction right now. But yeah, so Carapace seems like it's going to be pretty darn good, right? It seems to negate a hit every now and again. I don't I don't I couldn't really understand what it meant by when it's active. It's active every incomplete room, I think it said. Uh, 
I found, I found pills. pills. I really don't understand. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I really don't understand how to uh, hit these guys. Okay, just, just, just chill out. Thinking she is, do your thing. Oh my god, this is scary. <laughs> Oh, spawning ads. That was a poor choice for you, sir. That was a very- Oh, fuck! There's fires. Although, I, I did block a hit there. So, we know that works. Mom's coin purse. Um, on hit, use brown nugget. On grab bag, get discount. Plus one speed. Each boss kill has a 53% chance to spawn three rectangle spikes. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? That is actually a bad idea. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I picked that up and immediately thought, oh uh, shit. What about the later floors? I think I'll take that. What about the floors where um, there's many, many bosses? It's gonna get pretty shitty then. 58% chance to spawn three uh, spike blocks. That's gonna certainly cause some issues. But it is what it is. My heart's fell out again. Also, a, wait, what? A red one fell out? I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. What the hell? What item is it that's doing this? I do not understand. It's cool, but I'm scared. <laughs> it's a Kringa. It's a Kringa. Go, oh, my pinky shears of death. Pink all your shears. <laughs> this is so nuts. Pink, all the shears you ever could. And we got plus one soul heart. Enemy bullets have a 25% chance to be reflected. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just metal plate. It's just a reskinned metal plate. I'll take that, though. I want the extra soul heart, and I'm very, very happy that um, we get some protection potentially, too. Anyone who want to challenge my several dismembered bodies? Oh, ho, ho, Lord. Never even stood a chance. That's a lot of pinking she is right there. Ooh, golden pill. Hello. Literally not had a single positive effect yet. Come on now. Fuck you! I got an error room. Holy Infested. I feel stumpy. Lemon. I need another Taylor pills. Pretty fly. Yep. Health. Fish oil. LSD. Luck. Balls of steel. Puberty. Rage down. Relax. Go. No, 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 not again. Range up. Experimental pill. One makes you melatonin. <laughs> That's what it meant by spawn two ladders. Okay. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Like I'm walking on the sunshine. Something's wrong. Speak. Come on, telepills, please. Come on, telepills me! Fuck! Also, we might as well blue pill this. Blue key, even. Can I not blue key this thing? Where's the blue key? I thought I had it. I can't see anything because I retrovision and LSD. I got fucking on crack right now. What's going on? 
I have the blue key ghost right next to me. Come. Do it. Oh, yes, it was the green key one. Whoopsie. I don't know what the fuck's going on, I'll be honest. This is bizarre. Teller, pills, me, please, out of this room. Please, Teller, pills, me, out of this this room, please, tell her, fills me out of this room, please, tell her, fills me out of this room, please, tell her, fills me out of this room. I just want to go. I'm not stopping until it telepills me out of this room. I promise you that now. We are getting out of here. If it takes me all fucking day, we are getting out of here. We know telepills is in the fucking rotation game. Don't try and lie to me. I know it's there somewhere. And I've got enough golden pills to make it work. Trust me. I have more than enough. I feel like I have a slight pill addiction. I literally cannot believe the ridiculously poor look that we're getting here. How have we not had another telepills yet? I've used about a thousand pills. I've got all day game. I have all day. I will keep going. I don't care what my stats look like at the end of this. I'm getting out of here. God damn, LSD is the worst pill effect of all time. I want to be able to see. Terror to This is such pain. No power pill. Where the hell is my goddamn teller pills? I can't even use this pill anymore. It literally doesn't do anything. I've been in here three minutes at least because I've got three of those thingies. I spawned some more ladders. Explosive diarrhea again. It's gotten real laggy in this room, if you haven't been able to tell already. No, 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 not again. Pins and needles. Come on now, game. <laughs> Floating ladders. I, the visuals of this is just hurting my soul. LSD has just ruined the game. I, I genuinely think they just removed um, telepills out of the rotation here. Like, how have we not seen telepills yet? This is just, just ridiculous. But we haven't seen telepills again yet. I don't think LSD will ever end either. We're getting some new effects. It seems like each pill has its own pool, which is not how pills work, so I'm a bit confused. I have all day. I mean, I don't, technically. I have like an hour, but I will keep going until it lets me out of this room. You, this jail cannot hold me. Terror to Genesis. Something's 
I will take pills until the cows come home. And I don't earn any cows, so that could be a while. Explosive diarrhea is definitely the worst effect we're getting at the minute. It's basically just guaranteed damage at this point, because I, I physically can't get out of the way. Spider unboxing. Spider unboxing, infested, lemon juice, friends till the end. Oh, yeah, energy again. Speed up. Estrogen up. We've got quite a lot of estrogen ups. Health down. I need to just start spamming them. I've been like, like playing them kind of slow. I need to just spam the hell out of them. But even that's not really working. It's not really spamming. Retrovision again, no. Get me out of here. Why is it not letting me spam them? There you go. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Come on, game. You can do it. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, Endless Nameless has made this so funny. At this point, I'm like committing so hard to this just because I've committed so hard to this. I'm not like, I could, I could have given up by now, but because I've committed so hard, I have to keep committing. This might be the most amount of pill. <gasps> we fucking did it! Let's go! <laughs> it only took us five minutes, but we fucking did it! We escaped! We got out of that hellscape. Somehow. Somehow we made it out alive. Holy shit, we did it. Um, upon four get tears, every five rooms get, um, plus one luck. Um, each room 65% chance to spawn 11 grab bags. Oh god, that's really good. Um, yes. By the way, I just found it funny that we got a lax- So the laxative pill is meant to last, like, a few seconds, and- it's literally we've just been spraying shit out of our ass for the past 10 minutes. We still have to deal with all of our hearts just leaving us. I really hope the LSD ends soon. <laughs> Although I have a feeling it won't. Because, yeah, I can't see what the hell's going on right now. Unused tiers are replaced by the number A. Eh, I don't really care about that, actually. That item, from what I remember. Okay, I don't think I need quite this much grab bags. Got a lot of coupons. All my hearts fell out again. Um, play this. Hey, we got up the first try. Ooh, yeah. I'd actually like to have 9 volt, yes. I'd also like to have Cupid's Arrow, actually. Little buddies, can you get out the way of the machine so I can... Can get off the machine. <laughs> and let's try and get the last two so that we can, uh, so we can bit flip them, maybe. There's one. Okay, bit flip. 
every 50 seconds, 1% chance to use placebo pill. Um, every kill, 66% chance to get that, whatever that is. Pill crusher uses emergency contact. Every 30 seconds, 1% chance to spawn a random monster. Um, each room summon a broken shovel shadow. <laughs> That's great. Each uh, room, 99% chance to spawn two times dogma debris. Um, don't know what that means. I think I'm going to take this one. We also got Ram's Head in here. I very much like that. Damn. Yeah, another few goes at it, don't worry. <clears throat> God damn, this has been hectic. There's more money here. I want that ram's head. I've been on this floor for so long. So, so long. That's a golden penny, I didn't realize. Three more attempts here. <clears throat> Come on now. It's a 50% chance. Are you kidding me? Or is it a 25%? Even 25. I should have had it by now. I think it's I think it's 25 actually. But like, come on. I played it like six times. There we go, we got it. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. We got an ethereal sack there. I don't know what the ethereal sack did. All oh, my heart's come back to me. <clears throat> my tears are quite big now. I'm having a feel that's to do with this Glockova style item that we have. Ah. Um. They have grown to quite, quite the incredible size. Yeah. Very little chance of us seeing things. Right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, we don't keep those. That's good, at least. Stars card. Let's go. Um, bit flip. <clears throat> Each room get a temporary boot. <laughs> uh, on Penny, get Dunce Cap. Oh, God. Um... On 10 kills, lose a soul heart. No, thank you. That sounds pretty good. We got a golden sack. Not that we really need it. Yeah, fire mind might be uh, might be something that's gonna be a little tricky for us because it means that we can't really see. Right, we found our item room, we found our boss, we might want to just leave. I don't know what these ethereal sacks do. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. They don't seem to increase our damage at all. The T is just bigger. Also, see, we seem to be getting hit a lot because of it. That's a lot of tinted rocks. I mean, health-wise, that's pretty good. Hey, you got small rock there. Thank you. A zealot heart. Why not? A 
guess I'll take the Polaroid here. There's some ladders, good. Can't forget about the ladders. Back that open. And these two filing cabinets are as well, why not? Book of Shadows. I will take. Ow. Right. Let's go. Yeah, this has been uh, quite the experience. We, we will probably end up crashing some point during these floors. I think we can ignore most of the sacks for now. Um, I don't think we need them. We also got this fella, hello. We actually seemingly don't have that much damage. So do I keep these things from room to room? I do, that's bad. <laughs> My tears are just going to get progressively bigger and bigger throughout the course of the floor to the point where we can't see. But, but the caveat to that is that it doesn't seem to be um, related to the damage of my tear. It's just the size. It's, ju it's just the size. The size increases, not the damage. But, yeah, yeah, look at that. Orange. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Just orange. Is the room over? Our tears have reached such a big size that they now use the other explosion sound. That's really cool. Keep an eye on our health. At least the enemies seem to be over the top of it sometimes and not under it. Right, whenever we see our, our hearts dip out, use our book. That's, that's the way we play this. Everything dead? Yeah, whenever our hearts dip out, we have to use our book. And then we'll get a charge back for our book for doing that, so... I think we're pretty much done with bit flip at this point. Oh, look at that. We're not doing, like, any damage. Don't know where the enemy is. Don't know what I'm firing at. Don't really know how to dodge. Just hoping for the best. The explosion seems to kill the whole room, though. Whenever that explosion goes off, maybe it's just a Mama Mega explosion, but it seems to be when Fire Mind explodes. Don't know what's going on anymore. We can. The good thing is we can tell when we get kills because pinking shears goes off. No, there's the crash. Oh no 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 no. We we fought through it. We fought through the crash somehow. Um. Oh, uh, the ladders are functional. That would have been good to know significantly earlier. Because I'm pretty sure what just happened there is I went up the ladder and re returned me to the starting room. Yeah, that would have been that would have been very valuable information while we were using a thousand pills. Balls. Is that a crash? I don't trust it anymore. It might it might be, it might not. We'll wait on this very orange screen for a hot minute. Hmm. Game? Yes! Okay, it's not a crash. Right, get me the hell out of this room. Really? A copper bomb? I didn't sign up for no copper bombs. Right. Get the hell out of here. Now, what is this ethereal sack? I don't know. I think it just drops different stuff. Okay. Simply firing a tear causes untold damage. I need to test something. What if I remove fire mind? Does that help?
Right. Remove fire mines. Just, I just want to see if this actually helps. It does not. Just firing a tier with this many of that item destroys the game. So we realize that we've reached critical mass. Right. Let's let this slideshow play out, and then we're just going to use our bombs to kill him. We have golden bombs, so... Oh. This is this is the deleted experience. I hope you guys are uh, on board for this because this is the deleted experience. <laughs> These are the sort of things that we have to go through. I do wonder now. In that room where I used all the golden pills, I wonder if anyone... No, not that I suggest anyone do this, but if anyone could count how many I used, because I bet it was like a thousand. It was so many. But yeah, I highly do not recommend that. <laughs> I, think, I think until this worm returns to us, we're pretty much stuck like this. That's okay, though. He's almost back. One frame every three seconds at a time. I love breaking the game so badly that it just can't even function anymore. Oh, Worm's almost back. I think that'll fix the lag once he's back in our body. Yes, it does. Okay, right. Give myself fire mine back again, because that didn't break anything, and I want it back. Right, just set my pinking shears on him. Throw some bombs out there. This is a lot of tinted rocks. can use the clover capsule at least then, thanks. I'm gonna get my luck up there. Right, let's get gone. Oh god. <laughs> Sir. Refrain from firing tears once we get a certain distance into the floor. It will screw us. It's every kill we get one of those as well. Yeah, we reach like a critical mass eventually where we don't want to pick up anymore. So yeah, if I, if I, I can't believe I didn't think to try that. Because it's obviously the ladder from the crawl spaces. I should have tried that straight away. I think we just want to be bombing through a lot of these rooms, to be honest, to preserve, like, to kill as few enemies as we can so that we can actually play the game. I feel like that's the play now. Just zoom through the rooms as quickly as we can to get to the bosses and potentially try and win this run. Oh, my little ghosty died. Oh, no. Ow. We got a soiled heart there, I think. Okay. Back through we go. Don't kill anything if, if possible. Damn it, we've gone the wrong way multiple times here. This is bad. Apparently sometimes I can just shoot the door to get through it. Sometimes not. Damn it. Went so far the wrong way. Ow! That thing just whipped the shit out of me. Excuse me. 
walked into that bomb. That was a very poor play by me. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh my god, these things are whipping the shit out of me. Not a fan. Stop chasing me. I need to escape. All my hearts fell out again. Bollocks. I didn't even fire that time. I don't know what caused that tier to, to exist. And why it won't not exist. Please. Tears. Get out my face. Stop. Please, move out my way. Go hurt each other. Thank you. Oh, bollocks! At least we're getting one free hit per room. I can just kind of walk into some of these enemies. Or get hit by my own bomb occasionally. Okay, we have to complete this room because otherwise I don't get my hearts back. Oh, my lord. We're almost there by the looks of it. Okay. We've pretty much reached the point where everything's laggy. Yeah, we, we've definitely reached the point where we shouldn't be shooting anymore. We've got pinking shears to help out though. They'll, they'll, they'll do the work. Right, away we go again. Two more floors to go. Can we make it? Considering the last floor we are unable to bomb out. I have a feeling that's not going to go so well. Yeah, I have a feeling not being able to bomb out of the last floor is going to cause untold amounts of pain. So far, no kills this floor. That's what I like to see. When the objective is to not kill things... You know something's going severely wrong. Got a little ghosty fellas around us. Okay. No thank you with any of you. I'll be taking my leave of absence, thank you. And with you as well. Lots of homing fellas here. I want nothing to do with any of you. Don't take it personally. Please leave me alone. We are running out of bombs. We only got this one last floor, so we should have enough for this last floor. We lost all of our health again, so we actually have to kill these enemies. My goodness. I think we're going the right way, though, by the looks of it. I'm hoping. Yes, okay. We managed to keep it relatively low on the amount of kills here. We've avoided the main cause of the lag for the boss fight. We can actually fire at him, it's a miracle. Please spawn adds so I can get pink and shears on you. That would be very nice. You are dying very slowly. Wow, we are doing very little damage right now. Holy hell, we are doing almost nothing to you. Okay, we got some pinking shears going. Get in there, guys. Oh, now, now he flies away. Let's 
It's not fair on my pinking she is. God. It means a major stress this has. Major stress. It's almost dead. Soul hearts after every boss fight are pretty nice. Give me that mega battery. Now let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, I feel like this floor is fucked. I feel like there's basically no way we can get through this floor. Um. Yes. Yes. And. Yes. And... No. Okay. Let's play to the best of our abilities. That's not gonna be enough, I don't think. God, we've already reached an insane size of tier. We've already reached the point where we can't see anything. All the tinted rocks spawned as well. I mean, health-wise, we're going to be fine. I just think lag-wise, there isn't much, much chance of us being able to survive this. I think, basically, we have to kill one enemy with a bomb and then let Pinking Shears do the rest. I think that's the only way we get through this. Right, get in there, boys. Enough off of you, sir, to get this done. There's also quite a lot of tinted rocks around, which is pretty helpful. Thinking she is do your thing. Another zealot heart there. Why am I thinking she is attacking the right things here? Didn't mean to pick that up, but it's, it's happened now. Where are my pinking shears? Oh, they're just stuck on the um, on the, the the invincible guys. We just keep targeting them. Unfortunately, we do have to bomb some of these enemies to make this plausible. Okay. That should be the last one. And these guys shouldn't be invincible anymore. Or maybe they are still invincible. Oh, there's another fucking thing over here. Right. There you go. That took a while. Fucking hell. Oh my god, the lag. Yeah, okay, we can't fire. We can't fire. It completely breaks the game if we shoot. I need some contact damage. Okay, pinking shears, we have a few now. 
I kind of just, I do like these runs though, where it's like, it's making us do some really weird stuff to avoid the game literally dying. And we have to play in some really strange ways to like make it work. I kind of like that. I think it's fun. We done? Nope, got a maggot over here. Still not done. Bad idea to charge into that, my good lad. Okay, we found the boss, we found the boss. Okay, blue baby shouldn't be too hard. Basically, we hang around until he puts out some flies. Once he puts out some flies, we're golden. I think we have to get him down to a certain level of health before that, though. So we're going to have to bomb him quite a lot. I don't think he spawns flies straight away. I think it's only when he starts moving. The halo of flies is helping. Okay, 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 okay. We've got one pinking shears. No! What fired a shot? I did not fire a shot then. We have to wait. We have to wait this out. This is going to be a long wait, too. I did not fire a shot, I promise you. I don't know what caused that. I think it's on being hit I fired some shots. Because you can see there's a, there's a uh, purple tear directly on top of my body right now. Oh, this is going to be a long wait. This is going to be a long wait. Oh, let's get my phone out. Let's just let's just chill out. So how are you guys doing? I need lunch at some point as well, goddamn. God damn. So yeah, anyway, how was, how was your day, everybody? Do you enjoy the colour orange by any chance? God, I, I am really hungry, actually. See, I would just, like, go get lunch now while this is doing its thing, but it might unpause when I'm not back and then I'll die. And who's to say how long the pause will be with this many of that item? I can't believe the game devs didn't anticipate that having this many of this item would break the game. How dare you? How dare you? Just very poor dev work here. Can't believe it. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't know how I'm going to kill the fucking 10 minutes that it takes. We're already over an hour on this video. It's going to take forever. It's going to take forever. My goodness. I've been reading about the uh, the Mick Gordon stuff. Has anyone read about this? Uh, Mick Gordon was the composer for Doom and Doom Eternal. And he put out a big statement like the other day, basically saying that like how much um, its software wronged him. Uh, and its software just replied basically saying, that's all bollocks. Um, don't listen to him. So I'm not sure who to trust, but I I'm going to say that Mick Gordon's probably the more trustworthy one, considering he's the independent artist and they're the big corporation trying to protect their uh, identity. Been interesting read. Considering how talented Mick Gordon is as well, it's, it's a real shame. Like... The Doom Eternal soundtrack especially, my god that shit goes hard. Like whenever I'm at the gym, that is my go-to soundtrack to get me hyped up. Um. Yeah, I was reading through it on Reddit at the moment. Honestly, I wouldn't normally go on Reddit while we're in the middle of a um in the middle of an episode, but I think in this situation it's probably okay. I'm gonna pause and we'll be right, we'll be right, we'll be back soon. Oh hell, the recording's still going. I didn't realize. Um the game crashed? I'm, I don't know if you guys saw that. I accidentally unpaused the recording at some point. Maybe like 30 seconds ago, so you might have just heard me sitting down in my chair. I apologize. I kind of went to the bathroom and like got some food and stuff. It didn't unpause, so I clicked on it. And we'll see. But um, we're gonna, we're gonna test something out that's very risky, 
But I'm going to try it out if the game allows me to continue, which is a very big if. So again, apologies for the black screen you've got at the moment. Um, I can switch it over to this <laughs> for now. <laughs> can you guys see that? I think you can. Just from my never named podcast. Updating Dr. Fetus synergies. Not right now. I'm trying to continue a run. One second. Right. Isaac and it we are back in it. We can continue. But the game crashes straight away. I had a feeling. We made it so far. We, we almost got there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. That was a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.